I faced the situation when I was a new nurse and I was at a hospital and in the interview process the nurse manager clearly stated that the hospital didn't particularly care for mandatory overtime and it wasn't something that I was going to have to really be concerning myself with. And then guess what happened after I got hired? Yeah, I had to work mandatory overtime. So this is a question of whether you can say no when your nurse manager tells you that you need to stay over. And the long and short of it is that you can't say no. You have to work it. My suggestions for that is to address it in the interview process and ask them, what are my expectations as far as um, working overtime? And nurse managers may say, your shift is 12 hours, but at times I may need you to work an extra four hours, which means you will work 16 hours in one day. How do you feel about that? And I want you guys to really consider how you're going to feel about that that extra four hours if you've been up all night working that extra four hours are you going to be able to provide safe care are you putting your license in jeopardy will the nurse manager give you the next day the next night off or the next day off to compensate you for that four hours really think about it because what happened to me was the nurse manager said no we don't really do mandatory overtime and then as soon as i got hired it turned into well i'm short staffed I don't really want to do this, you know, to you guys, but this is what has to be done. And another thing is you're given an employee handbook when you get hired and you're you're signing these and turning them in. Please make sure you're reading what you're signing in that employee handbook because clearly even though the nurse manager will say no or yes or whatever, the employee handbook will state this hospital um is in agreement with mandatory overtime. It is the duty of the nurse not to leave the patients and then they get into abandoning your patients. And this is another thing because most state boards of nursing say that if a nurse does not want to work over, they do not consider that patient abandonment. All right, that's clear. Um, actually, I was looking at my state and the language says failure of a nurse to work beyond her shift or refusal to accept an additional shift is not in consideration of patient abandonment. But, 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 I looked at an old employee handbook and it said that if a nurse fails to um, stay for mandatory overtime and adequately inappropriately and adequately hand off her patient to the nurse manager or another oncoming shift, the hospital recognizes that as patient abandonment. And because I had signed that employee handbook, I have put myself in agreement with that contract, even though it is directly contradicting what my state board of nursing says. So that's just another thing. Read, read, read your rights about, um, mandatory overtime also the pay for overtime because that hospital um, employee handbook stated that the hospital did not have to pay me overtime if I worked more than eight hours in a day um, it only had to pay me if I worked over 40 hours in a week so that is something that I am always considering I never work at a, a hospital now that that institutes mandatory overtime because personally I, I don't need that kind of infringement on my family time, my personal time, my religious time. So uh, these are just thoughts for you guys to consider when you're interviewing for these jobs, how you feel about mandatory overtime. Consider it, all right, before you go into an interview so you have your position already stated. All right, bye-bye.